Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the suspension assembly on your high efficiency top load washer. It's a really easy job. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to pull the washer far enough forward that we can access the back panel. We'll also want to disconnect the power, so be sure to unplug it. Once you've done that, just pull it forward enough and we can get out the back. Pair, we will need to raise the main top. And on this style of washer, that first involves removing a couple of screws that secure that back panel support to the main top. So we're going to take those two out. We'll also need to remove this little cover and sell it in place with a single screw. And that will just pivot and remove the two little tangs on the two openings and we'll set that aside. Now that we have the two retaining screws and the access cover removed from the back, our next step will be to raise this whole main top. Now before we do that, we want to make sure that we secure that lid to the main top. The lid is spring loaded, it's also quite heavy so we don't want it popping open on us. So we're going to take some duct tape, we'll tape it just to the top, not onto the cabinet. We suggest you do both sides. Make sure that's good and secure. Now that we have the lid tape securely shut, our next step will be to pull that whole top forward. So just grasp it in the center and it will come forward about half an inch. We're then gonna lift up on it and it'll only come up about a quarter of an inch Move it up as far as it'll go, just push it back slightly. And that will release it from these two hooks on the side. And as we raise it up, just take note in the back, we want to make sure that the two slotted openings on the back of that main top fit down over those two tabs that we took the retaining screws out of. That will keep the base of that main top from sliding around. Well, next, we either need to have somebody support that while you're doing the repair or hook up some type of a lanyard that we can attach to the top and to the cabinet. So we've taken a short length of chain, we're just going to connect it to that slotted opening on the top. And secure it at the front of the cabinet by this gusset. That'll keep that securely in place. Now that we have that secure, we're going to go ahead and lift up on the suspension springs one at a time and replace those. So next we're going to take a pair of locking pliers. We're going to reach down in between the outer tub and the cabinet and we're going to grasp that suspension rod, lift up on it so we can pull that socket out of the top here and disengage it. So once you have a firm grip on that rod, we're just going to lift it up. And we'll rotate that ball on the top so that we can lift that off. Now we'll carefully lower that rod down through that opening. And then we can release our locking pliers. Now next we need to disengage that from the side of the tub. So we're going to use a long handled instrument such as a broom handle or something like that and we're just going to knock that through the mounting on the side of the tub. So we're just going to push down on those locking tabs on the side of that bushing. Once we knock that down through the opening, we can then lift that rod out through a slot on the side. and we can pull it completely out. We're then gonna take our new suspension rod, and we're gonna line that bushing up so we can pull it up through the opening in the base of the tub. You'll note the little locking tabs on the side of that bushing. So we wanna make sure that those are pulled fully up through the opening on the side of the tub. So again, we'll lower that down through that opening, slide it into that slot on the side of the tub. And 
And just make sure that we have that bushing lined up and then give a sharp tug on that suspension rod and pull that bushing into place. Now, before we pull that suspension rod up through the opening, we're gonna remove the old bushing. A couple of little locking tabs on the side of that, just depress those, pop it up out of the opening and discard it. And take our new one, simply snap it in place. And we'll have that upper ball in position. Grasp that rod. Again, we'll use our locking pliers. So once we have a firm grip on that rod, we're going to pull it right up through that opening. We'll take our new suspension ball on the top. We can make sure that we engage that hook into an open slot on the back side here. And let it drop down into place. You can then release your locking pliers. Now we're ready to move on to the next one. And we'll continue on to the last one. the old cup. Knock the old bushing out. Discard the old suspension. We'll set our new cup in place. snapped into place. We'll have the new suspension ball ready to attach. And again on these rear ones we're able to hang it on the lip of that rear support. That allows us to get a better grip on the suspension rod. it off, pull it up through that opening, and make sure we pivot that ball around so it drops into place. And now that we have all four of them in place, we can go ahead and put our main top back down. So we'll 
tilt the top and lid forward. Disconnect our lanyard. Now just make sure that top is even side to side. Should drop down to about a quarter of an inch space in the front. Pull it forward until it drops down flush. And then push it back. It should be a tight fit between the main top and the front panel. You should not be able to lift up on it. We can then release the tape from the lid. And then we'll go to the back so that we can re-secure with the screws. So now we'll re-secure that top to the cabinet. Then we'll use the two longer screws. And then we'll reinstall that access panel. You need to put these two tabs into the appropriate openings. And then just hinge it shut. Make sure the top tucks into the opening on the back of the console. Secure it with the screw. And now we're ready to push that washer back into position. Now that we have the washer firmly back into position, we can reconnect our fill hoses, turn our water supply on, connect our drain hose, and the power, and your repair is complete.